so hot in here. Gee. I recently discovered a site that's promising to become a dangerous addiction. So what we have here is 12 uh, ideally old school vintage lenses I got for pretty cheap. But the lot deal is I don't know what's in here. Multi-tool, let's unbox it. When I was a kid, I was playing with this multi-purpose tool and sat on one of the blades and had to get stitches in my right butt cheek. Okay, pretty nice. Lens covers. Three. Awesome. I love great deals. Seems good. One, two, hopefully. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Munch in a mustard double package. Gotta start with this huge one. Oh, what? thing is huge. Oh my god. Okay, an extreme telephoto. What is this? 400 millimeter. It's got a support. Very cool. What's this guy? This case is sick too. It's got a zipper. You can use that for all sorts of things. Okay. Zoom. Oh, an 80 to 200. Okay. I really like these old, like, pull style zooms, not the twist. I don't know why, honestly. Let's do a little guy. Hoping for something a little wider. Ooh. A 28 f2.8 with an 8 inch macro. Definitely needs a cleaning, as many of these do. I'm already have the adapter for this one as well. I think I do. Very nice. That might be the widest we get. Let's see. Seems beefy. A 200 <laughs> with a hood. Okay. F3.3, Continental Optics. Whoa. Whoa. Seems much newer. I have to do more research on all these, of course. I'm not the biggest lens nerd there is at all. See, the great thing about this is they were cheap, you know? So, picking what I want and getting them clean, no worries. Oh. Some sort of elastic wristband around this. I I have no idea what that is. What do we have here? Oh, oh, okay, okay. A 52 to 135. That's nice. The speed booster on that. F2.8, okay. Interesting. I like this little lens. <laughs> One of the JCPenney. <laughs> nice. It's literally probably 110 degrees in here right now. Most of these have rear caps, which is nice. An 80 to 200. F1.4. Cleaner than some of the other ones as well when I hold it up to the light there. Nice. A wiser person would maybe use the knife. Okay, 
it seems like another mid zoom here. Was this the second copy I have of this? No, no. Okay, another 80 to 200. Okay, maybe I'll try and unload one of these to someone else. See if they need it. Honestly, the price I paid is worth my favorite so far right here, though. 28. It does seem a little beat. Right here. There's this slight sort of dent. It looks like it's kind of seen some, uh, some better days, I guess. But, we'll see how it looks once it's cleaned up. Doesn't seem like any actual scratching or anything like that, so could be really nice. Last but not least. Oh, there's two in here. Okay, bonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought it said 12 on the lot. I'll have to look into this. Hmm. F2? Ah, uh, seems a little locked up the focus mechanism here the focus ring needs some work and a bit of cleaning as as expected of course oh, what is this cute little guy auto tele plus okay it's a tube the least exciting part is the covers but... oh yeah oh of course that's what that little elastic strap is. Put it on lens cap, put it around lens, okay. Huge telephoto with a C-mount. Adapter. Looks like a C. Another C-mount here on my most excited one of the, this is the 50. But I've had some luck. Some Minolta mounts. 28, that's great. So that's like a 56 without a speed booster. It's interesting, they can get some interesting effects like when you're changing the relationship between the crop of the frame and the compression of the focal length, you can get some cool effects. That's what helps make some footage look more original, I think, on a Micro Four Thirds camera or APS-C. Now, the 52. Another Minolta mount, yeah. All right, look at that again, no cleaning or anything. Cool. Inception. Oh, geez, this one seems sticky. Okay, another Minolta. This needs a cleaning bed. Kind of a beautiful effect, though. If you mastered it, you could do the uh, refocus as you pull, too. Actually, I, like kinda, I kinda like how it looks without cleaning. Now, let's see what these last ones. I think there was one cannon mount here. I know I'm not following best practices at all. I'm probably following worst practices, but creative endeavors don't really have applicable rules, right? I don't know the amount for this, I'll have to look into it. I think final cost here with shipping was about 40 bucks for some fun vintage lenses. Got a few pretty fast ones, and definitely some original looks here. I'm very excited.